the San Diego Musculoskeletal Project. Today I'm going to discuss how to perform the knee physical examination. This is part one of a four-part series on the knee exam. We will be focusing on the anatomy of the knee. The knee is the largest joint in the body and is a hinge joint that moves in flexion and extension. The main movements in the knee occur between the femur, the tibia, and patella. The fibula is not part of the knee articulation. The four ligaments of the knee include the anterior cruciate ligament or ACL which prevents the tibia from translating forward, the posterior cruciate ligament or PCL which prevents the tibia from translating backward, the medial collateral ligament or MCL which resists forces coming from the lateral aspect of the knee also known as valgus stress, and the lateral or fibular collateral ligament or LCL which resists forces coming from the medial aspect of the knee also known as a varus stress. On the anterior view of the knee, you can appreciate the patella within the quadriceps tendon and the patellar tendon. In addition, on the medial and lateral aspects of the knee are the MCL and LCL respectively. On the posterior view of the knee, the ACL and PCL are visible crossing each other within the joint. This is a representation of the medial and fibular collateral ligaments. The MCL is a flat, broad ligament that is stronger than the LCL. The LCL is rounder and narrower, more like a pencil. The MCL needs to be able to withstand stronger forces because it is easier for the knee to be hit from the outside, producing a valgus stress. The contralateral leg helps protect the LCL from injury. The menisci are crescent-shaped pieces of fiber cartilage. They are made from type 1 collagen in comparison to the type 2 hyaline cartilage that makes up the articular cartilage. The menisci allow for correct weight distribution between the femur and the tibia, reducing contact stresses from a round femur articulating with a flat tibia. The vascular supply to the menisci is poor, only reaching the outer third. On the anterior view of the knee, you can see the medial and lateral menisci between the femur and tibia. They are again visible from the posterior view. This diagram shows how the menisci assist with weight distribution through the joint. The pes anserine bursa is located between the insertion of the MCL on the medial tibia plateau and the confluent tendon from the gracilis sartorius and semitendinosus. Also important in knee motion is the relationship of the patella to the femoral condyles. The patella is housed within the quadriceps tendon and glides smoothly along the femoral trochlea. When abnormal mechanics arise, the patella can be misaligned and glide laterally over the lateral femoral condyle. This causes a painful condition called patellofemoral syndrome. We hope you've enjoyed part one of the knee examination where we looked at the anatomy. Please join us for part two where we will be reviewing inspection and palpation portions of the examination.